Hi, uh, this is Edwin. In this video, we want to show you how to use the lesson plan creator in CScope. I'm here with Eric, and she's gonna help me to do this, right? Um, so, if you, when you go to the open home page, uh, you can see all the uh, guides, and the guides we want to use in the working with the lesson planner. Basically, if you open that guide, it's gonna look like this, and if you follow the steps in the guide, it's basically the same thing uh, as watching this video, right? If you see if you go to my lesson tab you don't have anything in there so what we're trying to do is create a lesson plan you come to create button and create new lesson plan, create new lesson plan. you're going to either choose non-departmentalized or departmentalized and click continue you're going to choose your calendar we're going to choose the week of the 15th and we're going to add a title uh, lesson. Math for grade right. and choose your grade level and click save. So, right now you have a lesson plan that is blank, you don't see anything here, you don't see anything in the lessons, you know, everything is blank. So, you want to go to the se se sequence, I mean, click in lesson plan elements and then sequence of lesson activities. And in here, we want to import from the lesson plan that are already in uh, Cisco. You click on import. And you're going to choose your grade level and your content area. The, for the sample, they're using uh, math from 2010 to 2011. So that we want to follow the same steps. And you're going to scroll down just a little bit. And we're going to choose grade 4, unit 2, operations, addition, and subtraction. And then you're going to select the exemplary lesson. That's lesson 1, right? And then you'll notice that the engage and explore and the evaluate um, buttons pop up and you're going to add the selected activities. So that basically import all the lessons to your lesson plan. So you can see here that you have lesson one added to your lesson plan. And you can continue browsing and adding more lessons. We want to use only this lesson for this demo, right? Let's go back to the lesson plan. So you see now the lesson plan has some content on it. And if you open, you click in here, you can open the lesson that we just imported. And you'll see some tools on the side. You can print and you can edit each section. Yeah. Let's edit the title to change the days from 7 to 5 because we plan to do this in one week, right? You save. I mean, be sure that you always save. Um, we and tell that for experience, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And now you, we're going to edit some of the instructional procedures. And we're going to look at Engage Day 1, and you'll notice that they have everything outlined for you. And if you want to add something, we're, we're going to use the tools on the right-hand side. We have the print button, the add my calendar button, we have an edit button, and we also have the delete button. And we're going to choose the edit button. That's basically if you want to add any documents or um, information to your lessons. Uh, I know the teachers already have so much we already created. We want to use the editor you know, so you have all the tools to even change the color of the letters. Um, you might want to underline something, so maybe highlight it. Uh, let's underline this, right? And you can even create more space, add your own text, right? So now we're going to add and text, then. and we're going to also add documents. In this first document we're going to add, we're going to use this icon right here, and we're going to select what type of document we're going to add. We're going to add a Word document. Yes, uh, the word document and then we wanna load it in the second tab. Browse. I have I have these documents in my desktop, right? So I need to browse from my desktop. And I noticed I have my word document, I came up open that it's basically uploading the documents to Cscope. And since I saw another document, I wanna take the opportunity to load uh, the PowerPoint too. So right now we have two documents uploaded right here. The first one is the word document. Let me add that one. Okay, so we add this word document that is sample. Okay. Word doc. And then we might add maybe uh, now we can add the PowerPoint, right? And we're going to do the same steps. We're going to click on that icon and we're going to choose the type of um, file okay. that we're going to upload. It's basically PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to click on the next tab where we're going to attach it. And there's the PowerPoint. We're going to click OK. And notice that it popped up as well, and we can add text. 
Now at the very bottom, there's a save button. And it's very important that you click that save button. Otherwise, it won't um, add it to your document. Let me just click one. Yeah, be sure that when, when you save, let me click it, the screen should, sa should go back to these, you know, contracted uh, um, links. So you can expand it all over, and then you see the changes you already made. And these changes are made inside your lesson plan. You're not changing the lesson that is in the district uh, side for CSCOP. It's only in your lesson plan. So you can see the documents right now. And if you click on the icon, you supposed to open uh, the files that you link to the icon, right? So this is a sample for uh, the Word document. And let me open the PowerPoint. You can even, you know, click on the title to contract and expand and explore the lessons, right? The explore uh, the, the instruction procedures, and all of them have this button to mod, you know, these tools in here, the icons. So now we're going to show you how to access your um, imported lesson plan that you just edited, and so we're going to go back to the home page, and we're going to click on the tab that says My Lessons. And you'll notice that your lesson plan pops open, and you can just click on it. It's right there. Okay, let me close this. Now, if you want to edit or see uh, all the elements that you have imported, you can see you have some ticks. Click on the ticks. Just this is the primary ticks that you imported, and you can even modify that tick if you want to. I probably don't do that, though. but. Uh, if you want to edit, you can also add some more ticks. Uh, let me browse for some more ticks and for grades math. So this is the ticks that you have in your lesson, and these are the ticks that you can browse. You're browsing to add. Let me add. This is a secondary supporting tick, right? This going to be. They say that this is supporting the tick that I'm that I'm using. I select it, and I can even select several, right? It's going to be supporting thing. And then you add it to the lesson. So right now you have the one that you have initially, it's a primary, and then you have the two that just I just added. Save so and finish. There you go. Now they are in your lesson. In the same way that we add and edit the uh, ticks, we, you can add more lesson activities and all these components of the lesson plan, right? Even homework and uh, lesson plan resources. Okay, in the next video, we want to show you how to add the lesson plan to your calendar.